okay so how to restore the databases if we have the multiple databases how we can restore okay so first i am going to uh, i'm connecting to the server i'm restoring the database restore database restore database dialog box will come go to the device option and select whatever the backup you want okay i will i will show you one thing before going to that one second so we have multiple backups right so which backup is the latest full backup so that we need to identify so where we have taken the backups so d drive db backup so if you see here which one is the latest backup so if you see here date and time is there so db full backup 1141 1145 1147 1149 1150 751 1152 and 12 okay these are all the different backups we have so what is the process we need to restore so first you need to restore the latest full backup so if you go and see here so we have two full backups right three full backups this is the one backup and the first one is one full backup and second one is one full backup. So 1141 we have one full backup, 1145 we have one full backup and 1150 we have one full backup, right? So what we need to follow? Okay, so are you going to, are you going to restore either 1145 full backup and restore the 1147 and 1149 differential that is the one way and next if you want to restore 1150 backup and then you can restore the after 1150 whatever the sequential backups you have you can restore but you can't restore 1141 full backup and you can re you can you can restore the 1141 this is not possible so in between that we have the one full backup. So differential backups, how it is working? Differential backups is working based on the previous last full backup. So this differential backup will work. What is the latest one? This is the latest one, 11.45. This is working based on this only. This is this is not working for the 11.41. So the sequence will mismatch so that won't work if you want you try you will try it you will get an error so okay so you have an idea right so first before going to restore if you have the multiple database backups basically in the real time definitely we have that time time is there date is there so based on that we need to follow out. but here we have taken all in the same date right so then we go for the time Okay, now I am restoring. Okay, please remember these names just for uh, while browsing, which one we need to select. So you need to select backup two and you can restore two differential backups. This is the one set of backup combination. And you can try to restore only this full backup, it will work. You can restore the first full backup, 1141 full backup and you can try to restore 1141 differential it won't work in between there is a one more full backup the differential is following based on the latest full backup it won't work i will tell you the scenario so there you, you, there will be a process so we should not uh, deviate uh, okay now i am restoring first i will restore first full backup and I am trying to restore differential. So what happened, you can able to see. So you will get an error, the LSN mismatch will come. Okay. So going to the browse, I'm selecting the database, which I'm going to restore. 
ओके डी ड्राइव db backups so if i now, now i am trying to restore this one right this full backup if i select this this is the 1141 i am selecting this okay it is ready i am trying to restore with different name db4 or if you want to override you can override okay now i am trying to override db1 okay so now i am selecting override let's see what what happen okay what we can do so we have another backup also right we need to select the recovery state as with no recovery because i need to restore some more files i am trying to override okay so first one successfully restored first one will restore so if you go and see the database status it should be in restoring state if you want you can see here what is the status here restoring restoring means what i selected i selected database recovery type as database restore with no recovery no recovery means that i have some more backups are there we need to restore those backups now i am selecting again going to the tasks go to the restore and go to the database so here see so many things are there if you want to select the device go to the browse add your destination path what is the backup file okay so by practice you will get uh, the speed d drive db backups so here what i am trying i told you right i am trying to restore differential backup okay this is also i am trying to restore with no recovery so here you will get an error see what error you are getting see this differential backup cannot be restored because the database has not been restored in the correct earlier state the meaning of this error is we before before this differential backup you have one more latest earlier full backup is there so you have to restore that backup you should not map to the old backup that is the simple meaning so that's why uh, so we need to select the latest healthy backup okay okay so now i am now i am applying the same thing on db2 let it be db1 so i will delete later so now i am going to the db2 restore you can you can restore in two ways right i told you right either directly go to the databases and re restore it you can select it otherwise you can go and select the database which one you want to select select the database go to the tasks restore restore database so here i am selecting the device i am selecting the latest full backup so basically uh in the real time definitely there will be the date and time there will be a sequence there is no confusion don't worry so here we have uh backups on different different that's why it is confusing 
so what is the latest backup this i am selecting backup 2 backup 3 i have taken uh, after differential so that won't work with this combination i am selecting this okay i am for selecting overriding with no recovery with recovery means database is coming into online that means no more databases are there for restoring only one database in that case you can select it so now i am selecting so the first full backup is restored so now the status is restoring now i am restoring the second second backup select the device See, initially you may get some kind of errors. Don't worry it. So you can try to practice. You will try to understand that. Okay, now I'm selecting differential one, or you may select directly differential two also, because both are cumulative. Differential two contains differential one also. Okay. Okay, I am selecting again with no recovery. By default, it is coming with recovery. Okay, I am clicking. Okay. This will work because this is the sequence, right? It is completed successfully. Now, what happened? First full backup is restored. After that, one differential is also restored. Now, I am restoring the one more differential. That means what happened? First full backup, all changes come into the database. Next to second backup, whatever the changes on the differential that also come and restored. And now I am trying to restore the differential three. Sorry, differential two. So now I am planning there is no more backup. This is the last backup. For example, okay. So what do you need to make it? No need to change anything. By default, it is with recovery. So just simply restore. It will restore successfully. Your DB is coming into online. So this is the way we can restore multiple databases. See, now the DB is coming into online. So in this database can contains all the full backup data plus differential backup one data plus differential backup two data that means all three are available here so this is the way we can recover the data you see all tables data everything will come before uh, things uh, uh, how it is there the same the thing will create it so any doubt this is the way we can restore multiple databases whatever it may be if you have 10 also the same process first restore the full with no recovery second restore with no recovery third with no recovery like that you need to restore all with no recovery which is the last one you don't have the another files that is the last you need to make it online then you make it with recovery See, basically in the real time, if you have 10 or 20, you should not do one by one like in the this way. Just you need to make it the one script. Same restore database, database name with no recovery, copy paste and uh, specify all the file names and you can execute the script in one shot, all in one minute, not one minute, less than one minute, everything will be executed. Okay. So any doubt, See, you need to identify clearly. Now, what are the different states of database? You need to uh, note down. Now the database is online. That is the one state. Now you, you got one more new, new thing, restoring state. This is the one more state. So if now I am making it is offline, how to make the database into offline? Go to the tasks, directly take offline. 
then click OK. Now the this is the offline state. How many states you as of now you know? One is online state. Online means accessible. Offline means not accessible. Now the one more is restoring state. In coming soon you will get some more states also. That is also an important interview question. What are the different type, different uh, states the database can able to perform? Okay, online state, restoring state, there will be in recovery state, standby state. Okay, different uh, uh, states are there. So one by one, when situation came, I will tell you. So as of now, you need to make it note. So database, online state, offline state, and there is one more restoring state. When it is going to restoring state, when you are restoring the database backup with no recovery, then the database is in the restoring state. So this is the way we can restore multiple DB backups. Same thing, whatever it may be, any sequence. So the next combination, for example, you want to restore this. This is the after differential completed. Again, I have taken the one more full backup. So if you want to execute this uh, log backups, this will work based on the latest full backup. What is the latest full backup? 1150. So these log backups we can restore. If you restore 1150 backup, then only it is allowed to restore these log backups. You can't do 1141 full backup and directly go, go on the uh, restore log one, it won't work. When it is work, if it is a proper sequence, in between there is no full backups, then it will work. But in between, there is a one more different full backup. For example, if 1141, 1145 full backup, it is not there. For example, let's assume 1141 is there and 1147 is there. 11 49 differential is there, but 1150 also full backup, it is not there. Directly only one full backup and two differential and directly log files. So this will work because this is the sequence. Only one full backup we can restore with no recovery and directly restore the differential with no recovery, then restore the different log backups with no recovery. This will work. I think you got the point, right? So if you want to restore any sequence, one full backup after that, if any differential, any log backups, we can restore. But in between differential to full, again, you have to take in the full, you need to restore the latest full only. You can restore the any full backup, but you want to make it the multiple sequential backups also you want to restore. This is the process. Okay. Next one. While restoring databases, what are the what are the things? No, okay. Now if the database is offline, now how can you make it online? Just to go to the database, go to the tasks, and just to bring online. But in the real time, you don't get these type of chances. So if offline means is a very dangerous situation until unless you got the confirmation from the client. You should never put the offline. Offline means it is obviously your server is down. DB is not working. Your application will not work anything. Okay. Just uh, at your practice point of time, you can do it. Okay. This is the one case. Next case what? So while restoring, what we can able to do? So the two things we can frequently we can do. One is point in time recovery. And second one is normal backup recovery. So when you recover the normal backups, you may get the chance of data loss. But when you use the point in time recovery, so you should not uh, lose the data. But when you perform the point in time recovery, you need to verify it. Your database is in full recovery model or not. I'm showing yesterday, I show you right types of recovery models where you can able to identify, I will show you. So go to the database options, right? 
go to the database right click properties you can able to see there is an option when you select these options okay you can able to uh, see the different components here one is the collation that is the default collation value second one is the recovery model this is the very important i told you right yesterday there are the three different three recovery models full bulk logged and simple if it is a full recovery model you can able to perform point in time recovery if it is bulk or simple you should not perform point in time recovery first of all what is point in time recovery you can recover the data till what time you want that is called point in time recovery so mostly it should be in the full recovery model until unless you can change the recovery model okay if you want to see all the databases what is in recovery model then you can simply specify select a star from sys dot databases there is a one see so many system related predefined tables are there if when i call it as a select a star from sys when i call it as a sys means this is the system system predefined tables everywhere we have some predefined is there right in java also we have some predefined packages predefined okay components are there classes same way here sql also in any rdbms technology either oracle or mysql or anything we have some predefined system tables then only we can able to uh, perform the components all the working things properly sys dot databases so many things are there if you go and see go to the system databases and you can see the system databases here when you expand any database here you can able to see tables when you expand the table you can able to see system tables user tables system tables means predefined tables okay same thing if you want you can able to see here also go to the db2 when you select the tables so here what is this system table what is this system table have you created i am created no i have not created no one is created by default it is came if we expand it if it is there it will come in your, our user database nothing is there so go to the system databases so if you expand it see what is this these are all the predefined it we have not created anyway spot monitor all back usage so many things some predefined views also there okay okay that that is the different story we will see later okay sys dot databases when i execute it it will show all the databases and some properties so this is the name of the database what is visible here the same thing it is coming to here and the second one is database id every database having some unique id so that will is the internal purpose who is the owner owner sid okay when the database is created what is the compatibility level which version of sql server is using what is the collation setting here there will be a column called recovery model i will show you See, your database is online. It is showing as online. See, if you one of the database is in restoring state, it is showing restoring state. If you don't want all the columns, you can see this is the column recovery model description. When you see this, 
there will be a simple recovery model full recovery model whatever it is there if you want you can uh, simply use it just to specify the name comma recovery recovery model description if you execute these two columns then you will get it only to you know write the basic select query if you mention the star all will come if you mention the column see if you see here master by default master is simple recovery model temp db is always simple i told you right the model is full recovery model msdb is full recovery model this system database recovery models are fixed we should not change if you want we can change but not required so whatever it is coming that should be good so if anyone asking what is the master system database recovery model means you can tell the except to model remaining all simple only okay right so this is the way if all other databases by default it is coming full if you want to change it you can change just right click go to the properties go to the options and go to the recovery model and change it to simple and click ok now execute this is this the changes applicable or not now what is the db to recovery model previously it is full now it is simple so this is the way we can change the recovery model but this is also we need a, a proper requirement then only we can change okay now i am changing back to old state full click ok right any doubt till now okay uh, so so if you are comfortable to join again you can join i will take uh, some more uh, 15 minutes if uh, if you are okay tell me fast okay 